curious if you hear any noise or kickoff or anything. Can anybody challenge you maybe from student section at all or anything like that? I mean, yeah, there was a little bit of trash talking going on um, early as we came out, but, you know, that just fuels me. I mean, me and my teammates, you know, it just motivates us even more to go out there and play hard. You, you usually do play well on the road. Like, what is it about coming into an environment and proving yourself? I'm not sure, but, you know, uh, I just, I mean, it's just a testament to this team, honestly. You know, wherever we're at, you know, we're going to play as hard as we can and, you know, almost even play harder because it's an away game and, you know, they have the advantage of the crowd. Um, so we have to do that much more to win. All the offseason talk, the Heisman campaign, all that, and then your second carry to go 77 yards and to finish with the most touchdowns ever, most yards ever at Boise State in the first game of the season. Could you have drawn it up any better? No, nah, I definitely couldn't, but, you know, I just, I got to, Shout out my old line, you know, uh, they opened up big wide holes, I mean, all game, and, you know what I'm saying? I, I got the easy part, make some guys miss and, you know, go run to the end zone. You, you already had a lot of attention, but on social media, everything now, I mean, obviously there's going to be even more going into next week. I'm sure I don't know if you've seen any of that already or what, but just what's your take on you, you're going to be an even bigger story now this week? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, uh, that's just what comes with it. You know, you big time play, make big time plays, you know. You know, the media is going to talk about you, but, you know, it's about the same thing. You know, we'll enjoy this one, but, you know, we got to get back to work on Monday. You know, doing it so close to, you know, I guess only three hours from Jacksonville where you grew up, you know, what's that mean to, you know, kind of, I don't know if you had anybody come from up from there, come up here for this one. Yeah. What's it mean to do it so close to your nah, It means a lot, you know, to be close to home and, you know, I have family members here, you know, who uh, grew up with me in Jacksonville or and even uh, one of our GAs, all his family came up from Jacksonville, so definitely means a lot um, uh, to perform on this level, you know, close to home. After your first touchdown, you hit the Heisman pose. Was that, was that planned? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I just told myself whenever I, you know, made a big play, just, you know, some some type of play that proves that, you know, I'm that caliber of player, you know, I was going to pull that one out. I mean, game one, touchdown number one, and you whip it out. I guess, what's that say about your confidence? Uh, confidence is extremely high. I mean, and that doesn't come from anything anybody says about me. It comes from the work that I put in, you know, the confidence that my coaches give me and my teammates. What can you say about what uh, Sire Gaines did, too? You know, extremely, extremely proud of him. I mean, he works hard. I mean, you know, if anybody deserved to play well tonight, it was him. I mean, from the work he puts in each and every single day, I mean, that, he's going to be a, a great player for us um, this year. He's going to do a lot of big things for us, as he proved um, tonight. Um, so extremely proud of him. I mean, for, for him to be able to come in and give you a breather and, and not, you know, not have a huge drop off. I mean, what, what is, what's that do for the moving forward here when you can catch a breather like that and see what he can still do? I mean, it does a lot, but you know, that's the standard here. You know, to be more than just one deep, two deep, three deep. You know, whoever goes in the game, you know, there's no um, drop off. You know, it's it's the same level of play. I was gonna ask when you're kind of ran into the end zone and kind of. You know, rolling in there on the ground, Spencer Danielson kind of had like a grin or smile on his face. It seemed like I'm not sure what he said or just what made him laugh or yeah. Yeah, I mean he uh he I'm sure he probably knew I, I was already cramping. I just remember uh, UNLV the championship, like my last run, big run, started cramping up with my calves again. So I don't know, it probably was a reminder or something like that. But I was on the ground, they were trying to give me applesauce, and I was like, nah, nah, like, I can't. Like my both my legs locking up, but. Yeah, it was a funny moment. What can you say about the way Maddox uh, just really <clears throat> led the offense today? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, uh, adversity is going to hit, you know, different times. And, you know, I'm just proud of him for responding. You know, that speaks testaments to who he is as a person, as a player. You know, he's never going to back down. And, you know, that's you know that's why he's the starting QB, because he's going to lead this offense and he's going to take us far. For, for, this team to get the, for this team to get a 28-9 <clears throat> lead and then give it up and Georgia Southern comes back and, what is late third, early fourth quarter takes the lead again. I mean, uh, just what's it say about you guys to be able to, you know, when it got a little tough there, some adversity, you guys were able to kind of pull it out and get those late fourth quarter touchdowns. I mean, yeah, we've done, we've had a lot of hard games in the past and, you know, all the work we put in, you know what I'm saying, there's been challenges all year. And, you know, we're never going to back down from the challenge. And we're always going to rise to occasion. Passion for, for you, you wait eight months for this moment, right? I mean, get, get back from the moment you wake up today, the, just the joy you get out of getting an opportunity to play football. What, what, what's the joy you get out of it? I mean, just from God, you know, um, you know. I'm just blessed to have another day, you know, you know, just to play football with family. I mean, with my brothers, my family, 
you know, my friends being able to watch, you know, everybody around the world being able to see us and, you know, just to display my talents, you know, on such a high level. I mean, nothing, nothing beats that, you know, and I mean, just waking up with gratitude. I mean, you know, I live a wonderful life, you know, there's, uh, I have so much, you know, there's nothing, <laughs> like there's so much to be thankful, pretty much. How many, how, many, how many text messages or mentions do you have on your phone? I don't know, I ain't even checking yet, but I'm sure it's going crazy right now. Uh, just real quick, you, uh, you mentioned your line, you know, sometimes you'd be 10 yards downfield before you even got touched. Uh, just what can you say about the gap, stay what opening up for you? I mean, just like, it's a testament to the O-line, I mean, I'm saying they put in work each and every single day and you know also to our coaches you know who give us great looks to run in um, each and every week but you know that old line playing as a, uh, a complete unit and you know when they play as a unit you know nobody's ever going to stop us um, and you know that just gives me complete confidence in them each and every week that they're going to try their hardest to open up the gaps.